Hello, welcome to INT 1108, Practical Computer Application. Uh, the purpose of this is to introduce myself again, I'm Dwight, your instructor, and to do a quick overview of our course. Uh, right now I'm in student view of the home page. You see it's our home page. Um, and just to give you a quick overview of Canvas, if you're not familiar with it, the left side has all of your navigation, uh, your calendar, your, your inbox as part of your message, your history. Uh, the studio here, you probably won't need, uh, but just be familiar with this, you know, this, this particular area as far as your overall Canvas navigation. But as far as your course navigation, here's all you need. Home, syllabus. You click on syllabus, it'll take you to possibly a syllabus page. My view be, may be a little bit different since I'm an instructor using student view. So please be aware of that. Um, so if you don't see the syllabus, that's fine. Go into the announcements. This is very important. Announcements. You will see I have added several announcements that are, that are very important for you to review. And this video will be a part of that announcement here. Briefly, there's a welcome. I'm going to go through these quickly. Welcome. Um, this gives you information about the course, what I suggest you prepare yourself for, my office hours, and which will include a live, uh, live online Zoom session if necessary, my email, uh, and even my cell phone. So if you'd like to call me, if you do call me, please leave a message if you can with your name, because basically if I don't know you, I'm not going to answer until I am aware of who you are questions and answers. And basically this is an online course. So essentially you should have the ability to organize yourself and go from there. Um, so that's the first announcement It's just a welcome. The second announcement is your, your basically everything that you need to know about what you need to complete in the course. It has the makeup policy as far as my makeup policy. My general policy is please do the work. I generally don't like to to uh, add deductions, um, try to be on time, but you always have the opportunity to go back and complete the work. Um, basically, I want you to complete the work. That's how you want to learn. So in here, you have my missing work policy, the actual rubric for the grading of the assignments and the discussions. And then there's a nice, big, clear calendar as far as due dates. Uh, the discussion forum and the assignments basically are due on Sunday each week, but we'd like for you to post on different days. That's why we, we have this here uh, entered this way. So that's another part of the announcements. And you see I'm using what's called a breadcrumb up here at the top to navigate back and forth from a specific announcements, a specific announcement to the announcements. All right, the third announcement is a, is a Cirrus. Cirrus is the platform that you will use to access you know, the learning assignments. You don't have to log in, make sure you log in to your, your Canvas account. It will actually log you into Cirrus as well. And this, this is basically an overview of how, of how you create a help ticket. Um, if you have a problem, if you've taken the course before, and you, you need to um, essentially have your, your um, account um, refreshed and you receive this message, make sure you contact Encore support. The number's here. All right. All right, back to announcements. I don't want to spend too much time on this. E-resources are always available since this is online. Basically, you have access to a bunch of resources in the library, a lot of reading, a lot of information. Also, and I'm going to review this in a little bit, you do have access to a very, very good textbook uh, centered around the course. But you have library resources. Make sure you, you focus on that. Please try to stay away from copying and pasting when you answer the discussion questions and use citations. You can cite, cite a website. Uh, we do have a, a sp very specific academic integrity policy here at Millamont, so please follow that, those guidelines. I'm pretty sure you, you're all aware of it. And the final announcement for this group of announcements is uh, tutoring and, and advising. You have an advisor. There's a form you can fill out. You know, basically, you click on the link, it takes you to a form, and you fill this out, and it goes to our, our list of tutors, and they can help. All right, so those are the announcements. Please review those. Make sure you understand 
them. Um, and, and I mean, this will be the way that uh, you will follow the course of what, what's required of you. Um, there's a modules link. You can, you can see all the modules. You don't really have to worry about going here. Basically, there's a start, and I'll show you show you that on the home page and just follow that through to the end of the course. There's a grade, grade, grades link. And basically it highlights every assignment. And yes, there's a few, but, and it seems overwhelming, but it's not as bad as you think. Um, just go through it each week and you will not have a problem finishing the course. There's a chat, we, we seldom use it, but you know, if you would like to do a chat, it shows who, who's online. You see, I'm the only one online for me and the test student. Um, and then there's access to the Google Drive uh, for <clears throat> four millimod. There's not a whole lot uh, out there. As a matter of fact, yes, you do not have uh, availability to the Google Drive, but you do have availability to the library. So that LIRN is all the library resources that we have out there, and there is a ton. So please, please, please use that. All right, back to home. Uh, that was a quick overview. Uh, basically, this is your navigation, your main navigation page. Make sure you navigate back here. You see all of the items that are essentially, you know, that you're required to do on the right here. And you can click on them there. But I would suggest make sure you go through this, you know, all of your learning units are here and all of basically the course structures here. Start with this welcome, gives you the basic welcome. I, I have a welcome as well with announcements, but this is basically the same thing. Welcome you to the course, has everything planned out. It also has a spot for you to um, add your introductions. It's not required, but I strongly suggest it. If you go here, you see that I added mine, my little blurb about who I am. Um, I remember, to navigate, just hit the home page and it'll take you back and just start there. It's just a couple clicks. It shouldn't be a big deal. Also, if you have any questions that I can answer or anyone else can answer, make sure you use that question and answers. And these are just forms that everyone has access to. So hopefully uh, you will use that if you have questions. All right, so that's kind of the course overview. I'm gonna go briefly into learning unit one uh, to kind of show you how the CIRIS works but if you take, if you click on that and take a look at it, it gives you an idea of in this unit and basically all the courses, a lot of the courses use the same unit. Uh, so this is practical computer application. Uh, basically you are utilizing Cirrus, the platform to learn about Microsoft Office. Uh, and so basically you have all of your, your you, you start, please start with the discussion question. If you click on that, basically you'll receive a prompt, this prompt, for learning unit one, explains the important, it asks you to explain the importance of file manage, management and how to control files over time. Be sure to give examples based on hierarchical system, hierarchical, see that word a few times, used by Windows. How would you use file and folder names to assist you in, in managing your files? How would you apply this to your personal, professional, and education? So it's a discussion, court, discussion question. So make sure um, there's instructions, but just, you need to add a main post and then respond or comment on two other posts. So just click the reply uh, whenever, whenever there's more posts in here. And the thing that, also remember, and this, this is in the instructions that, that you have, you can't comment on others until you actually add your main post. So that's the discussion question. So once again, I would just go back to home, please. That's 100 points for that. Remember that. Uh, and then back into learning unit one. And then you have these exercises, assignments, there's, there's tutorials and practice, very easy to go through. Uh, and then there's quick multiple choice and fill in a blank exams. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'll just access one assignment here for this overview. Um, so if you click on that assignment, uh, and, and this is giving me an error because it's really hard for me to go to these assignments as a student. So what I need to do is go back. I'm going to leave student view. For sure, view is going to be a little bit different. And then go to the instructor view where it's a little bit different than what you see, but you will have access to get into any of these 
these tutorials. And this tutorial is basically how to sign into Windows. It's a nice little Windows 11 background. So you just click begin. Sign in to the Windows account for student name using the password MDBXI one dollar sign. And you just follow one, the instructions. Click anywhere. So it tells you two. Anywhere. Type MDBXI one dollar sign and then okay. press the enter key. Okay. Do what it says MDBX one XI I one dollar sign and click enter. Use an option in the start menu to sign out of Windows 11 without shutting down the PC. Desktop. Three, click the start. Four, click student name. Click that, click Five, name. click sign out. Click sign out. Congratulations. Three. You have you completed the, the guide. Practice. And basically you completed that assignment. So we're not saying any passwords. It's as simple and straightforward as that. You know, no complication and you can X out of it. Um, like I said, this view is a little bit different than what you see, but um, essentially I had to go through that because I'm uh, um, your instructor. So once again, this is just a quick overview. It's a little bit lengthy, but it's a quick overview of the course, very, very, very well designed course and the learning unit one. Remember, click on learning unit one and make sure you go through all of these items. I mean, basically, just to briefly look at one of the exams, it's really not that difficult. Uh, and sometimes it does take a minute to get through to them. And once again, mine is a, my, my view is a little bit different, but it should take you right to the exam. And it's just multiple choice questions. There's 20 of them in here. You read the response document image, stored in electronic format. It's called a, and it's probably a file. So anyway, I'm not going to go through the exam. Well, what I want to show you uh, before we continue, um, um, if you go into modules, uh, I do want to point this out because this is something that, that students uh, will ask about. You see, your ebook is here. Um, the the Seguin's Computer Concepts for E and Applications for Microsoft Office. <coughs> And if you click on that, it will take you to the ebook e launch page, which is this button here. Click on the ebook. And it should, mine is blocking here. Uh, you, can, you can allow it, um, or you can call tech support, or you can just open it in a new window as it's showing there. And it takes you to the ebook. This is your ebook, a very, very good ebook. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's a table of contents. That's what the TLC, if you hover over any of these, it'll tell you what they are. Book search, uh, bookmarks, um, view notes. You can take notes, you can add notes, et cetera. You can remember, zoom in. Most systems will allow you to zoom in, even the Chromebook. Uh, but if you open up the table of contents, you will have to expand uh, each of these, these sections and it'll give you like chapter one, et cetera. And these are chapters that are, that are highlighted in the assignments. All right, let's see what else. So once you start, you see that in Learning Unit 1, it will tell you um, this, this CO1 is Chapter 1, Chapter 2, et cetera. So basically, you see that all this first Learning Unit 1, it will cover Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, and you also have the ebook here too. Once you open up the learning unit, so quickly, uh, each each of the learning units are basically the same. Uh, review the ebook, answer the discussion question, and go to the assignments. I wish you all all good luck in this course. Um, if you just keep ahead, keep, you know, keep on top of the assignments every week, uh, you will not have a problem passing the course. Once again, I'm Dwight. And I will be your instructor. So thank you for attention. I will see you all in class.